Six months ago, where was the first shot, uh, the first person shot that you caught on your camera? Um, just right in front of the Wonder Bread factory. These are the gunshots and screams of a murder victim that Naheem Simon's doorbell camera caught in September. Shooting that happened yesterday. It just on the other just side. Just on the, the other side of the street. Again, Simon's doorbell camera captures a volley of gunshots. A daughter that's 16 months, you know, who's to say that a random stray bullet isn't going to come through our wall and kill her. DC police say around 2 p.m. in the Shaw alleyway, 13 year old Malachi Lukes was shot and killed. Also shot a seventh grader at Washington Global Public Charter School. While school officials say Lukes had recently transferred to Cordozo Educational Campus, he had spent years as a student at Washington Global. The principal there calling Lukes extremely bright with a bright future. No one is is really safe from a bullet just, just flying through and it's it's heart wrenching. You know, those kids were just starting their lives. We met up with Alexander Padro, ANC Ward 6 commissioner, who says despite billions of dollars that have been pumped into the Shaw area over the years, the drug problem that has plagued the area has surfaced in a big way starting last fall. Padro says DC police have increased patrols and crime cameras in the area. The shooting of the little boy in the exact same spot and this is still here. So do you think this is not working? No, it is helpful because uh -huh. it helps to uh, to document what's going on in the neighborhood. But uh, but yes, it, it is, you know, like uh, like spraying roaches. You, you spray the insecticide and they scatter. Tonight, flyers about Malachi Luke's homicide fill windshields as Simon wonders what next will his camera capture. No one's really safe and then, you know, no one is uh, no one's bulletproof. In Shaw, Janice Park, WUSA 9.